And you know, esta semana tenemos eventos todo el mes when it comes to our junior livestock shows. They're all over South Texas. It's part of our South Texas tradition. Uh, New Oasis County happening right now and Bee County is happening this coming week. Uh, we've got Mike Tounce, who is the superintendent of the Bee County Junior Livestock Show. And we've got Claire Rosanovsky, who is the 2023 Bee County Junior Livestock Show Queen. Mm -hmm. Thank you both for being on the show this morning with us. Uh, so what can folks expect over at the Bee County Livestock Show this year? So it's really, I guess it would, the, the best definition would be really a, what would be a, considered an old county fair. Uh, people bringing in uh, projects. We do have an adult division. It's mainly limited to uh, household type stuff, sewing and uh, cooking and that sort of thing. But the main focus of our show is of course, is gonna be where the exhibitors or, or kids that are attending our local schools and some that are homeschooled and that bring in a variety of projects. We have uh, ag mechanics division where there's some construction stuff done, welding and that sort of thing. And uh, move forward, we have a horse show. We have, uh, our main focus is gonna be our livestock show, uh, which is, uh, we've got a number of breeds there that we bring in. We have cattle and hogs and, and even down to the small stuff, the pigs and rabbits and the kids get these projects and uh, do their best with them and we got judge comes in and, and uh, judges them all out and at the end of the day we pick a winner let's talk to the queen la reina queen clara can you tell us a little bit more about how the livestock show has impacted you as a participant so i've been um, participating in the livestock show since i was in first grade i started off just doing homemaking um, just baking and making crafts with my mom. And then when I got a little bit older, I started showing animals. And um, now I'm showing a heifer and a goat and commercial heifers. And I still do all the homemaking projects. And those have really taught me, um, got me out of my box. And um, now I get to teach other kids um, how to show their animals and by doing the homemaking show and crafts, um, I get to learn new skills that I never would have done on my own. I can um, weld and do woodwork now. Uh, I learned how to sew and I can bake on my own, which are things I don't think I would have learned without the stock show. And showing an animal has taught me about patience and responsibility and um working hard and how important it is. And those are just some of the things that the stock show can teach you. And I think it's really good for every child to learn. Point well made, absolutely. It teaches you so much. Mm -hmm. It teaches you responsibility, leadership. Those are just two of the many things yes. that you learn. So just judging by your success over at Bee County and how the Livestock Show, the Junior Livestock Show has had so much wonderful, wonderful record setting years and that we're kind of back to normal this year. What can we look forward and what do you look forward to this year's Livestock Show? Um, I would say one of the things I always look forward to during the livestock show is um, on Thursday during the show, um, in between the heifer and steer show, we have an extra special show, and that's where from all the local counties, the, um, the life skills classes from all the schools come to our show and we put animals in the ring. We'll have, you know, a heifer, chicken, rabbits, goats, lambs. We'll put those in the ring and they'll get to come by. They'll pet the animals. They'll get to see them. They get a ribbon. And so I always look forward to helping with that and getting to see the kids get so excited um, to see all the animals. And it's, um, Things like that, that um, not very many special needs children get the opportunity to do all the time. And so um, I enjoy getting to help them. So that, that what Claire is talking about there with the special needs kids coming in is it's really a high point of the show. And you asked the question a moment ago about growth in the show, and that is something that we added in recent years. So our, our I guess really, if I could go into the focus of our show or my involvement, certainly, is that when we look at uh three percent of our society is the, is responsible for feeding the rest of the world so we have a small number of kids that are coming in 
working with homemaking projects, working with these ag projects, working with animals, husbandry, and all of those things. We see that I have the opportunity to see someone like Clara come in and then start realizing the value of what it is to go out and work in the agricultural world and see what it is. And when we can introduce uh, uh, somebody that's not familiar with it, to me, that's ultimately really where the, where the reward comes in. Is there anything else that you would like to share with our viewers? Um, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, we want to thank you for, for taking the time to, to listen to us. Uh, and we're really appreciative of everything that this show offers to, to the, this local community. Well, thank you both for being with us early this morning on a Sunday. Looking forward to the yes. Livestock Show in Bee County as well. Exactly. And of course, meeting all the kids and uh, seeing what teamwork is all about. It's a family event and you really, really see firsthand what teamwork is all about. Absolutely. Mike Towns, superintendent of the uh, Bee County Junior Livestock Show and Clara Rosnowski, the 2023 um, livestock show queen thank you so much both for being on domingo live this morning uh, it is this kind of message that we send out to our community every week we are a locally homegrown show that's been around for a long time as you well know uh, and we do this because we love it that's and right. uh, we're so honored to have you folks um, like our friends in Bee county to be a part of this because it, it's we represent all of uh, our community, all the coastal bend, and this is your show. So you come on board, we talk about the events that are affecting your lives and those of so many others where you live and where you call home. So